Hello El Paso and welcome to another edition of Fact Friday. I'm Martin Padilla. And on this edition of Fact Friday, we're going to be talking about the Gus and Goldie Summer Swim League program. And here to tell us more is Andrea Shield from the El Paso Parks and Recreation Department. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. Can you briefly explain what this swim league program is all about? So we're excited to host um, another year of the Summer Swim League, which is an opportunity for the public to get into swimming and generate interest for year-round swimming. Um, this is a competitive yet recreational program um, that is a seasonal sport. When does registration begin? So registration will actually begin on May 8th at 8 o'clock in the morning at Hawkins and at Westside Natatorium. Um, due to COVID, we are running things a little bit differently. Um, we will only be doing registration at those two sites as we want to ensure that we are practicing social distancing yet affording families the opportunity to register for the few pools that we will be offering the program at. What do people need to bring to register? So in order to register, they need to bring a birth certificate verifying the child's age, the parent code of conduct, which they actually have a parent video. They can visit any open recreation center, which can be found on um, Quick Scores uh, City of El, for the city of El Paso. Um, it'll give them the opportunity to go on any site and go into the rec center or sports center and register for that program. In addition to that, they need to be prepared to pay the registration fee, which is $43 for residents and $53 for non-residents. What facilities will be participating in the swim league? We're offering the summer swim program at the Westside Auditorium, that are Mijo Rec Aquatic Center, Pat O'Rourke Aquatic Center, Cowan Aquatic Center, and at Hawkins Aquatic Center. Those are the five facilities that are not open to the public, so we are using them exclusively for our summer swim program um, so that we can ensure to the best of our abilities that we are practicing social distancing and making sure that our participants and our staff stay safe. This year we also are doing things a little differently. We actually broke it down into two different sessions. The 10 and under will be swimming from 5 to 5.45 and the 11 and over will swim from 6 to 6.45. It'll allow us time to disinfect and clean in between sessions while reducing our um, capacity at the facilities. We are also capping all the programming and all the teams at 70, um, 35 and 35 bay age group ideally, but we are really excited to be able to offer this. Due to COVID-19, what precautions need to be mandated? So some of the precautions are that we are not allowing spectators. Um, we do allow one parent if they want to um, sit in while during the practice, but we are asking cooperation and reducing the amount of people in the facility. So we will be taking body temperatures prior to entering the building. We ask that if parents feel this, the, if the participant is sick, that they stay home. Um, that they wear their mask when they're not actively exercising and help us adapt as we are trying to navigate through these um, trying times. Where can people find more information? So they can visit us on the City of El Paso page or on our Facebook page which has the most up-to-date information. Um, the City of El Paso Parks and Recreation page does have the forms that you have and need um, and hopefully can print them out, have them ready for Saturday morning, again, Saturday morning, May 7th at eight in the morning, only at Hawkins Pool and Westside Natatorium. We do ask that each participant in order to participate in the program must be able to swim 25 yards unassisted um, in order to be able to be a member of this um, program. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? If they have any further questions, they can call any pool during their op open hours. Um, we do have limited facilities that are open, but they are open from Tuesday to Saturday from 6 in the morning until 11, and Tuesday to Friday in the evenings from 5 to 9 o'clock in the evening. They can call and get the information ahead of time. Please plan, um, incur please support us, and continue fo following social distancing so that we can continue to offer more programming. Well, that does it on this edition of Fact Friday. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you all for watching. Remember, if you need any more information, make sure to visit the El Paso Parks and Recreation Facebook page. And if you haven't registered for your COVID-19 vaccine, make sure to do so by visiting epcovidvaccine.com. And for any information on COVID-19, check out the city's social media pages or visit epstrong.org. We'll see you guys in the next Fact Friday.